quite a few persons. Those of you who who um, were not here, and um, I gave you some information whereby you can go and do research. <coughs> because it's out there. And more and more so it's alarming now that the doctors are actually um, diagnosing persons with these different disorders due to the use of cell phone and other apparatus that we use from time to time. Those of you who are accountants, those of you who are secretaries, etc., to be sitting at a computer just about all day. And little tidbits that I've shared over a period of time, that no matter what type of work you're doing, stop for a few minutes and just walk. Walk to the waterfront, go to the bathroom area, if you don't need, but just move around so that the blood can continue to circulate throughout the body because this is what's needed. If you're sitting there all day, you're hindering and you're causing your blood to become stagnant. So all of this work together. We talk about the digital dimension, dimension and the use of um, the cell phone and how they label us in some of it now as well as mental health. So the question is, what is mental health? Mental health as well is a brain health. So we deal with the same thing with motion through the brain. Whatever affects up here, the head, affects the body. Whatever affects the body, it has a relation there with the head. So let's read together. What should we say? Mental health includes what? Mental health includes, can you see? Our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It affects what? How we think feel and act. It also determines how we handle stress. And stress to me is the cause for most of the diseases from which we suffer. We know that illness starts first from acid, not eating on time, not drinking, um, slow digestion, that type of thing. Then from acid, it goes to mucus, to infection. And then we get to the disease. But if we can get rid of those three things, get rid of some of the mucus, get rid of the acid, then our body will be in health. The stress is not only rushing around and traffic or work. Stress also can be in the body, overeating. Like I said, not drinking sufficient food. You're putting stress then on other organs to perform or do some things that you're not giving them the water to be able to do or the herbal tea. Okay, so you want to make sure. We're looking at now what we call like a healthy brain. All right, and this is some of the things that scientists are saying. This one here shows you an Alzheimer's brain. If you notice, one half of it has this gray substance through it. And I don't have that particular photo on here, but the, the brain from using a cell phone over a period of time looks similar. The only thing is you have some other spots on the other side as well. I'm not going to go into all that part of the brain, but I just want to show you a picture so you can have it in your mind to know. What we're looking at here now on the left side is a healthy brain. And if you notice there we have most of the red hair, the activity in the brain. This is the temporal lobe, the portion of when we reach up to the front here, we have the frontal lobe. So this is what we're looking for like in a healthy brain. Now over a period of time, look what happens here. What happens there? It's missing, right? And this is the most active and normal part of the brain there that is, that's, that's missing. These are the things that, you know, folks are ending up with after using these electronic things for so long. Here now, the comparison is made with a non-alcoholic brain, and you're looking at one here. So just for you to see what's going on. So it's not now only alcohol that's causing this to happen. Stress. Um, anxiety, depression, the lack of nutrients, those type of things, okay? So we can see that, read it with me, the brain has what? Its own formula to store and recall information. But right now we are looking at our little gadget to give us the information that we need. Mentioned it before, everything we do affects the brain. And I have it here, the physical way. Not only physically, but mentally, uh, spiritually as well. Because if we're not reading our Bibles, right? Which is the key to using this, this, this cell phone. We'll talk about that later. I'm going now into radiation. Share some information. 
radiation because this is what they're saying. I notice I'm giving you a little um, here that you can go and check out um, for yourself. They're talking that if the radiation is high enough, it has a thermal effect, which means it raises what? The body temperature. So if you're raising the body temperature, eventually over a period of time, you're causing a low grade fever in the body. Now the body knows when to raise its temperature to help you to prevent from getting sick. So the temperature, the body temperature is kept at a normal. Even if it spikes up and down, we are in flu season, little rain, acid rain, split rain every now and then. The body would normally raise the temperature so that you would not get too cold, okay? Or in some instances, uh, you would not get too hot from the temperature. There are concerns that the low levels of radiation, which comes from your cell phone, from your computer, your laptop, from your big screen, um, computer, television, depends on how far away you're watching it from, can cause health problems such as, such as headaches or brain tumors. And this information was around for a little while that we can, we can see. Now the World Health Organization, this is the one that controls everything about health, they're in Switzerland, we had an opportunity to go there in what? 2010, when they asked the Adventist health professionals there to come over and see what we can do to change the diet and to share with them the lifestyle changes because most of the people in different parts of the world are suffering and they found out, they said that we had the answer right to that and they've actually paid for thousands of nurses since 2010 to go to Loma Linda to be trained and then they went out in the bone docks of Africa, India and those places where they are being paid from the World Health Organization. Alright, so what they are saying here now, here, is a possible human carcinogen due to an increased risk of brain cancer from long term, this is what he's looking at, long term and heavy use of cell phones, right? The human brain and cells communicate via electrical impulse, and we have that in our body. Our sodium potassium pump, that's a part of us, it's what produces and generates the electricity in our body. Now, it doesn't mean that you need to add more sodium to your food. No, it's a low sodium. It's more of the potassium, the high potassium and the low sodium that keep our electricity, keep that pump running there within the body. Okay, now what are the diseases caused by using, I should say some of them caused by using the mobile phone. And they've actually now sat down and talked with the medical doctors along with other scientists and those now that are actually streaming in this area um, doing the, the emissions from the cell phones. Look at what we have here, brain tumor, 74%. Hmm? These are the diseases caused by. Male infertility, I can't, I need you all to help me. Male infertility, mm -hmm. what else? Arthritis. 45%. What is this? Fetus. What is fetus? Unborn baby. Unborn baby. So if you're expecting you have a baby, 25, 21% right there damage. Air hearing function, 80%. Wow. Well, listen here, this is alarming. I mean, do the research. Because I've got so many slides that I couldn't put all of them. I only want to touch just to, just to prick your, 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 your brain and then do your research. A lot of people now are going deaf. Some of them, the doctors telling them now they cannot even put in the what? What they usually put in? The hearing aids. Come on. Even with the hearing aids, some of them are not able to, to, to hear. All right? And we're going down to Alzheimer's. I showed you the brain of an Alzheimer's. And 3% um, Parkinson. Parkinson. The, 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 they're still out on this one because some doctors are saying now that it's more than 3%. Um, if you know this person's have a little tremor every now and then, not all of this tremor is Parkinson. Um, thyroid disease over a period of time, that's one of the things that happens. We end up with the little shake there. And um, any other traumatic experience maybe that a person went through that truly shocked them, but I'm not going to get into all that. But at least they have Parkinson's here at 3%. All right. How do cell phones affect mental health? All right. Read it with me, please. Cell phones use badly affect mental, mental health, health of adolescents. Adolescents. Uh, Sickness will here provide adolescents. 
and they Hello, look anxious, anxious depressed, depressed and, angry. and angry or sometimes they like commit suicide. So I mentioned last week about people, children, they're scary, they're sitting there and they just stare. And sometimes when you do this in front of their eyes or their face, they don't even blink. All right? So that's a sign. You look at the sign, the things that's happening, like how um, Elder Dawkins and maybe some other teachers in here as well. Um, you know, you know that something is going wrong, especially the child um, who's vibrant in the class, answering questions, and all of a sudden you see them doing this because that something happened, okay? And the suicidal rate, as we know, has increased. Even persons on their computers, someone sent them something, a WhatsApp email, the folks are committing suicide. They say adolescents use cell phone at night. I shared a story with you last week. Which leads to insomnia, and insomnia ultimately <laughs> results in what? Depression. depression, anxiety. I get depression here twice, in other words. But it, it just tells you that this is what's happening, scientifically proven, all right? That, that's some of the things that's happening. And then the physical part of the body is right here. This is what we call the text neck. At this angle, that's 60 pounds that you're putting on these little um, cervical um, bones there from the spine. Here, I'm showing you some of them as we go from the cervical. We have seven. We call them C1, C2, C3, 4, etc. Then the whole spine is affected because then you go down to the teeth. And there's 12 of these bones in here. Then you go to the lumbar area, all right? You go to the sacrum, these bones together are fused, and then I told you last week that you go all the way down to the coccyx. So that's right there at the bottom of the body. And there's four of them there that are fused. These are fused for more support, all right, of the system. But once you have the curvature of the spine from the text neck, we know that we're in trouble. I need to get a better picture of this for you to see. What I'm showing you now, what happened to your blood? You're all the way down to blood cells. You know, we made up cells. So the use of, of the cell phone over a period of time does this to the blood. You can hardly see. Now, this one, like I said, I'm going to get another picture in the time. You can see the little circles here. The blood's supposed to pass through each one of these cells individually. But you can see the difference from this to that. All right, so this is what's happening, and this is what should happen or be happening in the body. Not only that, the cell phone, and you can see the right one, this is what it does from the body. We're looking at from here to here. This is the phone right here. In the person, the air, you can say, okay, I'll bear it need that. No, I can put my phone on the speaker and talk that way. But this is what was happening from generation. So it lights up the entire body. It lights up the entire body. And the green over here that you cannot see too well should be the way that the system should work. All right? So we're not going to read all that, but you're getting an idea to know what happens with the phone. All right? So even if you have your phone in your hand, hmm, you've got the low radiation, the pulsation still going through the entire body. We talked before, like how men used to put it in their pockets and what it's doing to them now. Ladies, years ago, used to put it in their breasts or make sure you do not have it close to your body. Do not sleep with your phone um, um, close to you, or do not charge your phone while you're sleeping. All of that is happening, and that low ra radiation is affecting you throughout um, the day, all right? Um, here, basically, I'm showing you the same thing again, all right? So this is a close to face, and that's what's happening. But when you have it in your hands, it's the same thing. The impulse, the radiation, is going straight down to the system. In your hands, this way, the first connection with the tenderest part of the body is the breast. So no matter how you hold it, it's still close to your breast, close to your heart. You're holding it close to the chest. Okay? So please, this is what's happening here in the brain when we do that. Now, let's see. Let's see what time it is. If you start again. Half to ten. I could just click the ten or one by my So we're going to stop right here and we're going to now go into the 